Jason Taylor, and this is my neighborhood. Lots of people like it. They say it's beautiful. They say that it's a great place to live, filled with wonderful people. Personally, I think it sucks. I have to do a video for school about where I live. Here it is. Why do people like living here? Beats me. Let's find out. My family has been living here for generations, way back when the Steelers were still called the Pirates. Would you like a cookie? I make excellent cookies. Oh, don't worry. You won't ruin your appetite. Well, I grew up here. And I just love it. What is so great about this neighborhood? The people. And the view. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is so great about Fine View? Nothing. It's a dump. It used to be a great place. No one ever locked their doors. We threw great block parties every 4th of July. Fireworks from up here? Never seen anything like it. If you needed anything, anything in the world, your neighbors would have your back. What happened? Zombies. What? Nothing. Did you just say zombies? No. Why the hell would I say zombies? Now get lost. Jerry, you're such a prick. I can't believe you're firing me. Did you even look at my samples? Mobile, rigor, mortis, tissue, Jerry. You tell me. Fine. I never wanted to teach at your lousy university anyway. I've seen smarter faculty lose Wheel of Fortune. I'm here live in Fineview where there have been reportings of strange people. They seem to moan and walk very slowly. No one seems to know where they came from and my crew can't find any of them right now. If you see any strange activity, please contact the authorities. You ready for my curveball? Can you get it over the plate? And finally, those potholes on Hazleton are really disrupting traffic. We've got bigger fish to fry than potholes. So I have a petition here, and I'm sure if we all sign it, those potholes will be taken care of sooner rather than later. Who cares about potholes? My house isn't depreciating at an astronomical rate because of potholes. My house is depreciating because of zombies. Yeah, right. zombies! I hate this place so bad. It. You can't be serious. This place is dead, Zo. It is so dead. It's beautiful to me. Yeah, the same way war zones are beautiful. You know, I hear Afghanistan is real charming this time of year. Look at that view. Where else can you see a view like that? Plug in a TV, babe. Do you smell that? Yeah, it smells like fine view. Did you shower today? I always shower. Yeah! Look, we've all heard the rumors, but I promise you, there's no such thing as zombies. Oh, you fucking oh, come on! <laughs> Hey, 
told you this place sucks! Come on, up the hill. What's the point? Survival is the point. Big whoop. So we survive. We're still living in fine view. <laughs> Sorry about your boyfriend. I didn't really like him anyway. What are you waiting for? Get in! Who are you? I'm our only hope. It's okay. It was only a fart. I think. TV station, of course. How do we get in? Allow me. Why do you have bolt cutters? I lost my job today. <sighs> we don't have much time. The cure is here. The cure? To the zombification process. To know the cure, you must know the cause. My theory is that people feel cut off. They lose hope. They have no faith in their homes. They have no faith in their neighborhoods. A little help here? They sink into a despair of funk and filth. Their armpits start to smell. They don't notice, but it's the armpits that are the first to go. Then the skin begins to fester and die. And, help, and then the back of your knees oh, go God. slack so you can't walk you right? Shut up and push. Finally, they are consumed with a jealous hatred of anything actually alive. That's my theory, anyway. So, what do we do? We give them back some hope. We broadcast no, that message of hope here. from this station. I'm the only one who can save us. Son of a bitch. Oh, that sucks. All right, Jason. We can do this without him. All we need is a message of hope to broadcast for him. No, Jason. Not you two. Snap out of it. I don't even like it here. Then why did you send me back at the baseball field, huh? Then why you have come this far? Where else can you buy a house for $5,000, fix it up, and have a mansion looking over one of the most beautiful cities in the world? Where else do you feel so connected to the human race? There's history in these walls. The people who built Pittsburgh lived here first. And Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh is the source that built this country. And the people, the people here love you. So what do you say? I think I know what to do.
I love the name Fine View because that's exactly what it is. If you look toward town, you get a fine view. The view I had was when we, we were coming up Henderson Street and we came to the ballpark, which Pete talked about. And everyone was there. Everyone was there cheering for the team down below. And I thought, what a great community. I just felt so, all, all, already I felt at home. We never had any problems with anybody because everybody was our friend. It's the new neighbors that are moving in. It's like they've been old neighbors. I walk down the street, talk to everybody. Uh, my grandma's lived here, my mom's lived here all their lives. I just love this neighborhood. I just feel like I'm part of it, you know? I just feel that in here, this is me. Everybody that I've known lived here. I think, that, I think too, we are, we're seeing a, things are changing. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's a good feeling. You do want to stay here. Or like my dad mean? says, it's called Fine View because it's a fine view. <laughs> <laughs> Almost hidden and barely noticed among its larger neighbors. This is a simple jewel, not gaudy or flashy. It sparkles with the unspoiled brilliance, its quiet beauty warming all those who live here. This jewel is Fine View a tiny community nestled among the trees on the hillside above the North Shore. A village with a view, startling, breathtaking, beautiful by day, panoramic by night, a magnificent light show. My neighborhood. It might need some work, some tender loving care. But I wouldn't live anywhere else. It gives me great pleasure to congratulate the first zombie elected to find you, Citizens Council. <laughs> Still beating. Hey! No! My head! <laughs> <laughs>